I remember the first time I was given an ATM card. I was just entering university and my dad had opened an account for me and gotten me an ATM card with which I could withdraw money from the account. <laughs> I was so excited that on my first day of school, I went on a shopping spree. I bought things for all my roommates and even considered buying a gift for the nice lecturer that taught us that morning. Two days later, I went to withdraw some money to pay for some materials and I was told I had insufficient funds. I couldn't believe it. Wasn't the money supposed to be inexhaustible? I believe that as long as I had a card, I would have money. <laughs> what a rude awakening. Well, as silly as it sounds, this could happen if all the soil did was take nitrogen from the atmosphere without releasing any of it back. In our previous lesson, we started a discussion on the nitrogen cycle and we described it as nature's way of regulating the amount of nitrogen in the soil and air. We describe some of the processes by which nitrogen is fixed into the soil. Today, we want to look at the processes by which the soil loses nitrogen. The first process is known as dentrification. Dentrification is a microbial process of removing nitrogen or nitrogen compounds from the soil. How does this happen? Some types of bacteria convert the usable form of nitrogen in the soil, which are the nitrate and nitrate, to the gaseous form of nitrogen, which is then released into the atmosphere. Nitrogen is also lost from the soil through erosion, leaching, crop removal, bush burning, or a reduction of the soil acidity. Some chemical processes such as oxidation and reduction are also significant in the loss of nitrogen from the soil. With this, we have concluded our lesson on the nitrogen cycle. We hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next lesson.